Today we'll be going over 22 overlooked items that sell for huge profits on eBay. I have nothing to sell you, no courses, no memberships, nothing like that. Please just enjoy the free content and I truly hope that you guys are able to find some of these items and list them in your eBay stores so you can make more money than you ever have and spend more time with your family than you ever have. Let's get right into the first few items. All right, the first item on this list are massagers. Uh, you wanna be looking for these massager wands handheld and also these uh, bigger ones. These uh, thumpers sell extremely well. Panasonic sells extremely well. The wands sell better than the handhelds, but they all sell extremely well and have a fast sell through rate. You wanna be looking for the Hitachi Magic Wand and also these, uh, it's called the thumper. All right, so we're hopping into my computer here and I'm gonna show you guys some of the massagers that I've sold just in the last 90 days. I'm gonna be doing that throughout this video on the majority of, if not all of the items. I do wanna make sure that this video isn't too, too long, so I might not be showing you all of my sales for all of them. But for the majority of them, let's hot dive into my computer. So we sold this Vintage Oster 2 Intensity Infrared. It sold for $42. We sold a Polynex Power Massager for $43. A Panasonic The Panabrator for $54. A Therabody Theragun for $90, Homedics for $35, Panasonic again for about $50. Then we have this Med Massager. It's like for um, blood flow, feet circulation. That sold for $113. We have another one here for $45, another for over $50 and another for 40, and we have several more pages of that as well. Next up, we have these lightsabers. You wanna pick up all the Hasbro lightsabers you can find, especially from like the early 2000s, but even the 2016s, 2019s, even 2023s sell. I usually pick them up in thrift stores between one and $3, and they usually sell 15 all the way up to $45, depending on how sophisticated. So this one, for example, sells for about 25. Um, I don't have any base. This one's a pretty basic one. Should only sell for about 15, but they all sell between 15 and $45. Next up is baseball mitts and gloves. A lot of people pass on these. I know I have a lot of them, but the season is about to start. So these are going to start flying off the shelves even more. And they're moving here during Christmas time. You want to definitely focus on pro models and the bigger the size, the better. Anything below 12 inches is going to have Anything between 11 and 12 and a half inches is going to have a pretty fast sell through rate. Below that is going to have a pretty slow sell through rate. And anything 12 and a half inches and above is going to have the fastest sell through rate. You want to focus on Mizuno, Rawlings, Wilson, all those, all those guys. Anyone that has watched my channel for any, mo any period of time knew this was coming. You definitely want to look for remote controls. I have already made tens of thousands of dollars and I will eventually make $100,000 just off of remote controls alone. You wanna look for Onkyo, Yamaha, Pioneer, Dish. The, the newer the Dish remote, the better. I just sold one of these this morning for $100. You wanna take a look at a lot of remotes. Let's go hop into my computer and show you what I'm talking about. All right, quick side note, those massagers that I just showed you on my screen, that was actually only the last 31 days of sales. Um, so just those that I showed you have sold in the last 31 days shows you the power of picking up massagers Hopping into the remotes here. First off, we have these Dish Network Hopper 3 Wally remotes I've sold 16 of these for $260 just in the last 90 days um, And then you want to look for obviously this Bose controller went for $30 This Panasonic went for 17 uh, we've got a Yamaha that went for 27, a Denon that went for 31. Here's another Onkyo that went for 50 bucks. Here's a mixed lot that went for 56. A JBC remote that went for 60. Um, yeah, we're just seeing a ton of remotes here. And then a ton of them sell for 15, 20, 15, 15, 10, 19, 18. Here's one remote that sold for $70. Um, I have a few examples that have sold for over $100. So definitely remotes are something that you guys definitely want to put on your radar. Um, here's another Sony remote that I sold for $70. Definitely want to keep an eye out. You can buy them for $0.25 cents to $3 and sell them very consistently around $20. Bucks. And then there's obviously a ton of them that sell for $40, $50, $60, $70, $70 and even over $100. Next up is sports cards. Now, a lot of people hate on sports cards because there was this guy named Zion Williamson who came into the league 
and there was a ton of hype around him. Plus, Gary Vanderchuk was talking about Giannis rookie cards. Plus, the pandemic happened and everyone was collecting in their homes. So because of all those factors, the card industry literally went up, I think, like, what, 1,800%. Like, cards that were normally selling for $6 were going for, like, 50 Cards that would normally go for 50 were going for 480 and cards that would normally go for 480 were going for like 3500 The market has come down extremely, so a lot of people don't think that cards sell well at all. But now, there's, I would say, even more opportunity for those of us that are interested in selling cards to really make some money. It's just going to be a bit slower and it's going to be more of a grind. I definitely recommend checking out American Arbitrage Cards. I'll put his stuff probably like right here. He has some entertaining videos about him going out and actually finding and sourcing the cards. But what I like even more is about weekly, he shows you some of the cards that he sold that week. And so it shows you what is actually selling and what you should be looking for. But I just barely sold a LeBron James card for $100 two days ago. This Kevin Durant card is going to sell for about 70 or 80. I've got plenty of cards in here that sell for 8, 15, 20, and my buy cost is usually about 22 cents. But I did just barely sell an Emmanuel Quickly Silver Prism card for Oh, I actually I haven't even I haven't even uh I haven't even packaged it yet. I sold this card for $10. Okay? $10. 2 years ago I sold this exact same card for $73. The market has definitely come down, but there is still a ton of money to be made in them, especially with people flocking away from it in regards to resellers, but the collectors are sticking around and they're buying deals every day. Next up are vacuum cleaner parts. Now, no one wants to sell a full-sized vacuum, though I have and I will continue to do so. What's much better is just parting out the, the uh, vacuums and selling them as parts. It's actually very easy, especially like the Dysons and the Sharks, they all just have these little buttons and then they come apart. You want to buy, like so this Dyson V7, for example, I bought it as a complete vacuum for $45. I'm gonna sell this for 30, that for 20. Um, this, I, it, the motor that attaches right here already sold for 40. And then the head already sold for like 50 or 60. And there's another head that I'll be selling shortly. Same with Shark, same with some of the more old school vintage ones, like um, I'm blanking on the name here, o Oza, something like that. Also this LG one is really nice. Uh, definitely an overlooked category for sure. All right, hopping back into my computer. We got 90 days worth of sales for vacuum parts. Starting off, we have this Dyson V10. This is just the motor head, no other wands or any, or any attachments or anything like that. Sold for $110. We have the Shark Duo um, head sold for 60 bucks. The Dyson Ball Animal 2 head sold for 80. Another Shark sold for 66. That uh, motor that I was talking about for the Dyson handheld, it sold for 60 bucks. Uh, we've got a ton more examples, $30 for a wand, $7 for another Dyson head, um, $17 just for the attachment, the Filter Queen Majestic Triple Crown Vacuum ca Canister Set, just the little wheelbase, sold for $35. We've got another tube here that sold for $40, a ton of examples of vacuum parts, and they sell extremely fast, especially Dyson and also Shark. Definitely a very overlooked item in category are receivers and amplifiers because they are very heavy and people don't want to deal with them. I usually pick these up anywhere between $15 to $40 and they sell anywhere between $80 to $150 plus shipping. I charge calculated USPS ground advantage shipping. It usually charges the customer an extra 40%. People are willing to pay what they are willing for the item. So I make money off of the item and I make a really good amount of money off of the shipping of the item as well. Very overlooked category and item. I sell, I like to have, well, let's see, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I like to have about 20 in stock at all times. Haven't been able to find too many recently, but yeah, awesome sales here. Similar situation here with the DVD VCR combo players and the VHS players. 
Um, I hate to see this portion of my store look so bare. I would love to have several hundred of both of these items in stock at all times, but they just sell super quick and they're not super readily available. And the failure rate is up there. That's why a lot of people also pass on these because sometimes they do not work. But a lot of times, all you need to do is just take some, not aerosol, but just that can pressurized air pressure cans and just all the way through them. And they usually just immediately start working. Or you can take a little bit of um, alcohol and you smudge it all over the um, laser disc reader. And then usually they start working. I sell tons and tons and tons of these units. I actually just barely sold these, this yesterday for $50 and it's broken. This is a DVD VCR Magnavox cassette recorder. If it worked, it would have sold for 200, but it sold for 50 broken. And then we also sold this for $40 plus shipping. So this is gonna look even more bare. If you guys have any of these and you wanna ship them to me, <laughs> let me know. Next up, we have car stereos. A lot of people ask me, how do I test these? I have an uncle who owns a car shop that has one of those $35,000 computers that can test diagnostics of cars and stuff. It also has an import where I can test the majority of these. But some of these, if you can find the wires, they're easy to test, or you can just buy wires, or you can list them for parts. But um, I find a ton of them in my area, you wanna look for Audi and Corvette and all that stuff too. But just a regular old Subaru, Toyota, Ford sells really well. I don't even know if I have, oh yeah, here's a Ford. I sell these small ones all the time, they're great. I usually pick them up for like three or five dollars and they sell for like 60. I think this is also another Ford. Sells for about a hundred. All of these usually sell between 40 and $200. A more tighter range, they usually sell between 60 and 100. I hope this video is uh, sounding all right. I'm actually pretty, pretty sick. Um, it's a bit tasking to talk and uh, it sounds like I'm out of breath in some of the shots I'm realizing, but uh, man, I've been sicker for longer than I thought I was going to be. I really need to get some videos out. So I hope this is uh, going great and uh, you guys are getting some value from this. Especially over on TikTok, a lot of people say, who the heck is buying digital cameras when we have iPhones? This is definitely by far my favorite thing to sell on eBay. They just sell so, so quickly. Um, most of my cameras sell in about two to four weeks after listing them and they sell for huge profits. Here's just a couple of examples. Um, Canon power shots, um, the 1300, the 1200s, and especially the Elf 180s. So extremely fast for over $100 every single time. Uh, this Nikon goes for really good money. About a, I've, I had two of these. One of them sold for $120. Um, the market's come down a little bit. I might have to sell this for $90, but still got it for 5 bucks. Just barely got this out of a private pick the other day for probably $0.50. Cents. Sells for over $100. I even have this box. See how it says BC17? That means broken camera. I sell broken cameras every single week on eBay. I buy them for two to five dollars and they sell anywhere from 15 to 30, but the majority of them sell between 25 and 30. Into my computer here, <clears throat> checking out some camera sales, as you guys can see right here on the top right off the bat, Sony Alpha A7R sold for $560 and it actually sold, I actually bought it for two dollars from a thrift store, two dollars. Right below it is a um, Konica camera lens that I also, I got this plus a body camera for $5 at a thrift store. So we'll call my buy cost $2.50 on this one, sold for $490. It's Canon PowerShot L480 that I was talking about earlier, sold for $225, got it for $5 at a thrift store. So beside Sony CyberShot sold for $190, another Canon for $170, $170, $170, $150, $140. Oh, that cool pics that I was talking about that I said went for $120, actually went for $145. Then that other Canon 1300 that I, I sold an identical one for 135, 135, 130, 130. I think you guys get the picture. Definitely pick up digital cameras. They Not only do they sell for huge money, but the sell through rate is just insane. The next item is going to be blender cups. You wanna look for Ninja, also KitchenAid, 
Here's another Ninja. Even some smaller brands like the right Oster and the right Hamilton Beach can be okay. Normally those two are no-goes, but every once in a while you'll find some good ones. Um, I also just sold one of these today. Sold for like $68 shipped. Um, so they, they obviously sell for really good money. You're gonna wanna look for all of these blender cups and things of that nature. Very similar to that are coffee makers. You wanna look for bun. I sell this brand all the time. Usually goes for over $100 after all the shipping and stuff. Krups is really good. Q-Rig is good. Oh, I really like this Q-Rig. Let me hop into my computer and show you a few of my sales just over the last 90 days. All right, here are some coffee maker sales just from this quarter, 73 days in total. We've got the Black & Decker sold for $73. We got a bun here that sold for 60. Um, I honestly don't even know how to pronounce this brand, but it sold for $51 and I sell it all the time. We got the Mr. Coffee Cocoa Motions. Those don't make coffee, but they make hot chocolate. I've sold a ton of those this winter, all for about between $40 and $45, $50. Um, we have another uh, coffee maker that I'm not able to pronounce. And then the Carafes and all that stuff sell really well as well. Also Ninja all that good stuff that you want to be keeping a lookout for. If you guys can't tell, I am obviously an everything seller. And I just wanted to speak candidly about that for a second. There's a huge debate here on YouTube and Facebook and just eBaylandia where everyone, it's very split between people who say you should be an everything seller or you should be a niche seller or niche seller. However you guys would like to pronounce that, I don't care. I think it doesn't matter if you are doing less than $250,000 a year. <clears throat> if you are doing less than $250,000 a year in sales, it doesn't matter if you're an everything seller or if you're a niche seller. It lit, it like it's, it's splitting hairs. <clears throat> if you put in the exact same amount of work in both of those, <clears throat> then you're going to get probably the exact same amount of money in the end. So I would pick whatever is easier for you with your situation, the hours you wanna put in and your area. If you would like to make more than $250,000 in sales, if you want to start pushing $250,000 profit, $500,000 profit, you probably will need to niche down. But for the average person who watches YouTube content and wants to be a reseller, I don't think the average person <clears throat> wants to make 400,000. I mean, they want to, but I don't think they want to do what's necessary to make $400,000 in the first year or the second year or the third year, or even 25 years from now. If you fall into the category of someone who wants to do this part-time or even full-time, but doesn't have the huge aspirations to make millions and millions and millions of dollars, you don't need to niche down in my opinion. I think it's much easier to just pick up the top seven sell-through rate items in your thrift store and sell them. You don't have to just focus on clothing or just do CDs or vinyls or any of that. I think the best thing you can possibly do on eBay if you have aspirations to do less than $250,000 in sales, which is, I would say, more than 80% of people here on YouTube seeking out this information, sell it all. Go to your thrift stores, find the three to 10 fastest sell through rate items in any category that's easier-ish to ship and get it done. One of my absolute favorite items and categories is sunglasses and eyeglass frames. If you guys have been following this channel long enough, you guys know I do this every single day of the year. I sell multiple pairs every single day on eBay and Poshmark. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you guys my computer on this one because there's, there's a ton of them, trust me. You wanna look for Oakley, you wanna look for Ray-Ban, you want to look for Fossil, you want to look for even Ralph Lauren. I've been doing really well with Kate Spade regularly. What you wanna look for is they do not have to be in great condition. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, why do you have them so unorganized and like this? They're getting so scratched up. Maui Jim is also another, another one you really wanna look for. <clears throat> All of these are in terrible trash condition, lenses wise. All of the lenses, <coughs> sorry guys, all of the lenses are in terrible condition, completely scratched up and not usable. So you sell them as frames only. People will put their own lenses in them themselves and they will buy the frames. These I have listed probably for $40. I probably have these listed for $20, $25. You list them as frames only 
lenses will need to be replaced and you can make tens of thousands of dollars every single month just selling eyeglasses and sunglasses. I'm actually surprised I have one of these in stock to show you. These uh, Rainmate IL humidifiers are awesome. I've sold like 15 in the last, I don't know, two or three months. These fly off the shelves during this season because of the cold and flu and all that good stuff. I find these all the time for five or eight dollars at my thrift store. They always sell for 50 to 60 dollars plus shipping. This is an unbranded one and it still sells at a decent clip. You definitely want to be looking for these air and air purifiers and humidifiers. Another one of my favorite items to sell is gasoline. Just kidding, it's baseball bats. Softball bats, t-ball bats, all the bats. You wanna pick these up for under $5 if you can. Um, a lot of these go for, like this one for example, goes for about $130. Some of them only go for 20, 30, 40. I'd say the average bat I pick up goes for about $45. Typically, but not always, the longer the bat and heavier the bat, the more it sells for, but that isn't always the case. Uh, for example, this is a drop 10. Uh, that one's a drop 10, but then there's some bats that are only a drop three. This is a really good brand and it's a good weight and length. So that one sells for a premium. That one will probably go for about 80 or $90. <clears throat> you definitely wanna be looking out for all bats. They're actually <clears throat> a bit easier to list than you'd think. You just type in the they, most of them have model numbers. You just type in that model number and then make sure you have the same length and weight and then you just copy someone else's listing and adjust it accordingly. Along with that are golf clubs. You definitely wanna skip over the majority of golf clubs, but all the name brand ones, the newer, the better you wanna pick up. You definitely wanna be picking up TaylorMade, Cleveland. There's another TaylorMade. Nike is discontinued, so you wanna pick up all Nike clubs again within reason. Cobra King is good. Adams Golf is okay. I usually stay away from Adams Golf. You definitely want to pick up Ping, um, Titleist, all of these brands. And then, you know, uh, as I said, <clears throat> the newer the better. Drivers sell extremely well. Sorry guys, I'm a little sick. And you definitely want to pick up sand wedges and pitching wedges. They sell significantly faster than just regular irons. I sell 99% of my golf clubs as singles. Even if I get a complete set, I still part them out and do every single individual club as their own listing. It's a little bit slower of a sell, but it's more consistent of a sell, and I have that money coming in every single day, every single week, and it's uh, cushioning my store, and it's giving me fast sell through rate items to cushion my store with. All right, those of you that subscribe knew this was coming. Hair, beauty, tools, and equipment. You wanna pick up a ton of flat irons, blow dryers, and curling irons. Definitely don't pick up Conair. Definitely don't pick up Remington unless it's a wet too straight. <clears throat> but you wanna be looking out for Babyless Pro. You wanna find HSI, you wanna find GVP, you wanna find Chi, you wanna find Longe, you wanna find all of these that I'm probably mispronouncing, but whatever. These sell extremely well. I have a ton of them <clears throat> because I am constantly buying as many of them as I can. It's funny, especially on like TikToks, I'll tell people things that sell quickly and everyone will comment, well, if they sell so quickly, why do you have so many of them? And I tell them because I pick up as many as I can, silly. The InStyler, hard to keep in stock, those sell extremely fast. <clears throat> you want to invest a little bit of time into looking these up and I'll definitely hop into my computer and show you some of these sales. For this 90 day total, I just typed in iron for flat irons and curling irons, but there's also gonna be golf clubs in here. So a nice little two for one. So in the last 90 days, we've sold a couple baby list pros for $33, $37 and $27. Also a T3 flat iron for 46. A couple golf clubs all within the $50 range. Another Babyless Pro for $21. Seeing a, seeing a uh, pattern here, Babyless Pro is selling for a ton. GVP for $30, Anumi for $30, Vital Sassoon, a Bio Silk, another Babyless, an InStyler. All of these are selling in like $35, $40. You definitely want to be taking a look out for these. <clears throat> Let's just see one more quick page. Um, a Salon Tech Silicone 450 sold for just under $100. 
um, a Salona Sapphire sold for $80. There's a ton more golf clubs for 60 bucks. A Volume Volumizing Hair Iron Pearl White, $63. A T3 Single Pass Curling Iron for $63. Cleveland Launcher for $40. Um, and then a Chai or Chi, however you pronounce it, for $35. You guys definitely want to add these to your radar if you haven't already. One of my favorite things to sell are routers and modems and Wi-Fi range extenders. Um, here in my area, this is going to be different everywhere you go. But here in Utah, I find CenturyLink all the time. If you live in California, you're probably going to find Cox a lot more. If you live in other places around the country, they all have different brands for the main internet providers. Then when it comes to Wi-Fi range extenders and things like that, Netgear is everywhere. These Orbeez sell really well. I always have CenturyLink. And then this isn't a Wi-Fi router, but it goes along with what I'm saying. I have CenturyLink and I have Bose and Sonos all on speed dial because <laughs> whenever I get a unit like this um, I just call the the company and I say hey I got this at a yard sale or an estate sale or a thrift store can you guys please reset it for me they always do sometimes they're a little sometimes Bose like wants to protect their products and they like ask you a few more questions but you just answer them confidently and say yeah I really need this uh, <laughs> I really need this reset and they'll almost always do it for you so you just call them up reset them, get them listed on eBay. I sell these all the time. I sell these all the time for 60. I sell these for 60. I just sold one of these this morning for 60. Uh, they sell extremely well and extremely fast. Vintage and also modern calculators sell extremely well. You obviously, everyone I think at this point knows about TI-89s and that good stuff. But uh, I sell a ton of Hewlett Packer vintage calculators. I've actually sold two this month, both for over $200. So those are really awesome finds and you want to look out for it. And even some Casios, modern Casios, you just type in the model number. So for this one, for example, it's the FX9750GIII. Oh, this is just the double I. There's also a triple I, obviously. <coughs> Sells for about $15. So if you can get it between $1 and $5, three or below more preferably, you'll be able to make some good money off of them. Let's talk a little bit of bread and butter here. I've got a little bit of wallets. I usually pick them up for a dollar or less and they usually sell between 10 and $25, typically between that 12 to $18 range. I focus mostly on just like Fossil, Hobo, Ralph Lauren, things like that that have a, have a faster sell through rate. I rarely find wallets that have over a 100% sell through rate. There are some, I have sold many of them but the majority of wallets actually have like a slower sell through rate. So I just stick to ones that have at least a 60 or 70% sell through rate or higher. The name brands like Fossil and Coach <coughs> always do well. Again, they're just bread and butter. They're not gonna make you a millionaire, but they will make you a thousandaire. So you definitely wanna be picking these up when you see them. But if they're like five, six, seven dollars, don't pick them up because a lot of times they will only sell for about $18 and the way I have my store set up is I'm constantly doing discounts. So a lot of times I end up, I end up selling them for nine, 11, 12, $13. So you definitely want to make sure your buy cost is very, very, very low on these. Subwoofers. No one wants to deal with subwoofers because they're big. I've, I never really run into subwoofers that don't work. I always test them and they always work. And, uh, as long as you put them in a big box with a ton of bubble wrap, they're going to make it to your destination safely. They may destroy other people's packages in the meantime, but yours will be okay. I look out for these Vizio ones. They sell actually pretty quick. Um, Sony, Bose is always really good. These big speakers, man, no one in your thrift store is going for them. This JBL I just barely got, it's worth over $200. Nobody in your thrift store wants to deal with these, but if you choose to deal with them, you will make a ton of money. Subwoofers were actually my number three category last year in 2022. And I think they're my like sixth or seventh biggest category here in 2023. Guys, let me know if you want a part two. I didn't even touch clothing, but all of you guys know about that. But there's just so many different speakers and hair removers and computer mouses and miscellaneous electronics. Uh, there's little TVs. 
there's computer keyboards, there's speakers, there's video games and controllers, there's consoles, there's popcorn makers, there's Stanleys, there's shoes, there's toys, there's ink cartridges, there's hats, there's bike seats, <clears throat> KitchenAid mixers, a little bit of porcelain, keys and locks, knives, equipment, um, shower heads, drills and equipment, tools, bags, headphones, MP3 players, little cell phones, watches, um, you got AirPods. There's just, there's just so much. There's so much stuff to sell on eBay. Let me know if you want a part two. Guys, literally be an everything seller, okay? I know it's controversial. I know people will say I'm an idiot and they can make so much money, so much more money niching down, whatever they say. I think the majority of you are just looking to have an awesome side hustle or even to make a full-time living but enjoy time with your family. You know, not everyone needs to make $400,000 a year. Those people are the 1% for a reason. Some people find joy in making money. Other people find joy in spending time with their family and having more than enough money to go on vacations. So whatever you want to do, do it. If you want to niche down, don't listen to me. But if you want to live a crazy awesome work-life balance and have a ton of money and a ton of time with your family, just buy the seven fastest moving items in your thrift store every single morning and you'll be good to go. All right, I'm pretty sick. I probably shouldn't have done this video today, but I uh, hope you guys liked it. Love you, bye.